was fantastic. It's been the greatest playground for so many activities and days of adventure. Today I used Dartmoor as my outdoor facility, the most amazing backdrop for my fitness training. It's the most inspiring place. I'm Gorg Skeety, Olympic pistol shooter for Team GB, and I'm going on a journey to discover everything my beloved Dartmoor has to offer. Geocaching is a worldwide adventure-seeking sensation. You download coordinates of hidden treasure stashes before heading out to track them down. Dartmoor is home to hundreds of geocaches, but treasure hunting in the park is not just a recent thing. In 1854, the Moorland guide James Perrick created the original concept of letterboxing right here on Dartmoor. The premise was simple. The visitors who ventured out left their visiting cards inside a container. Today, geocaching can be considered a modern-day evolution of Perrot's original idea. Caching is basically treasure hunting. It can be enjoyed by families, friends, but personally, I like seeing it as a competition. many people to get out there and cycle. I'm definitely one of them. The Tour of Britain has chosen Dartmoor on several occasions for its breathtaking scenery as well as its breathtaking King of the Mountain hill climbs. The landscape provides suitable challenges for the more experienced mountain bikers. There are also many forest trails and traffic-free routes perfectly suited for those looking to simply take in the scenery. The disused railway from Princetown was historically set up to transport the famous Dartmoor granite from the quarries to the rest of the country. It's now a popular recreational route for all abilities. The rocky nature of Dartmoor's granite tours makes it perfect for climbing and bouldering. to climbing, it's best to go to an outdoor activity centre for tuition and equipment. Training on Dartmoor is like nowhere else in the world. The easiest way is running and all you need is a pair of trainers and the desire to get out there and give it a go. The National Park has such varied terrain, you can choose a route to suit your ability and some in particular are very challenging. So much so that the Royal Marines use Dartmoor for commando training. starting 
coming from Postbridge Visitor Centre runs through Bellamer Forest, which is home to numerous archaeological sites. Dartmoor is one of the most important Bronze Age landscapes in Western Europe. The Visitor Centre at Postbridge has a fantastic exhibition exploring the significance of some of these sites. running on a treadmill. I can remember some of my early experiences of riding horses in the National Park the exhilaration, the freedom, and now it's such a great way to get away from the pressures of everyday life. In terms of riding experience, the park can be divided into three geographic areas, each suited to different levels of rider. Dartmoor shooting warhorse, he said he'd never been gifted with such an abundance of natural beauty. So that's the end of my adventure. It's time for you to create your own.